Looks to me like you could use all the friends you can get. We can handle those cowboys just fine on our own. Yeah, well, they're not far from here. In the nifty lot off Fremont Street behind the OK Corral. They look to mean business and boys. They've got guns. And we will take their guns away. Come with us, you're gonna listen to me. And you're gonna hang back. And hold on to this. I got one meant for you, Holland. Wait, wait, wait! Your safety is through! Three. 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 I see what's going on! Give me that gun! Just take it! You go away and let me die. Bright McClowry, dead. Tom McClowry, dead. 19 year old Billy Clinton. Dead. It was over before it ever started. Now, two months after this gunfight, Virgil Lerp was ambushed outside the Crystal Palace Saloon. Three shotguns went off, but he still refused to die. <clears throat> Crippled up pretty bad, Virgil wandered the West until death found him in Nevada in 1905. Not as lucky, Wyatt's brother Morgan. He was shot in the back and killed playing a game of pool up on Allen Street. Morgan died at midnight, March 19th, 1882. His brother Wyatt's birthday. Now in 1887, the year this whole town began to fall apart, after a lifetime of drinking and smoking. Well, tuberculosis caught up with yours truly up in Colorado. I don't care to talk about it. Now Wyatt Earp was the last man standing out of all this. He'd spend his days traveling. He'd make his way from Idaho to Alaska, finally ending up in Jazz Age Hollywood, searching for the next tombstone and a chance to get things right again. He never did find it. But Wyatt died in Los Angeles in 1929, just shy of his 81st birthday. His final words, suppose, suppose. That, folks, was our show. We hope you enjoyed
We are a lot more reliable than this Val Kilmer person I keep hearing about. <laughs> Lastly, as you folks exit, you're gonna come across a cowboy. Now he's out there collecting for a charity that we hold near and dear to all of our hearts here at the OK Corral. That is the Starving Actors Fund. <laughs> wow, that's a real thing. <laughs> Please be generous, folks. All of those proceeds go towards ramen noodles and much-needed acting lessons. <laughs> Thanks for coming down to the OK Corral, folks. Enjoy the rest of your day in Tombstone.